generated through strategic civil resistance. <laughs> the continued enforcement of communist, socialist, and fascist ideals in our sovereign democratic republic has left the repugnant taste of constitutional heresy in the mouth of every American item from California to the New York Islands. We the people, you the people, me the people, have been having thoughts, feelings, and emotions in such a way for so long that we can no longer accept the irrefutable insults of our nation's government. My fellow Americans, the power is in our capable hands. And to illustrate what we should be doing, I prepared a video. We the people, through the use of a representative republic, govern ourselves democratically. First, we the people vote for our leaders elect. These representatives are paid well to protect the power of the people. Second, our representatives place votes on our behalf as we've asked them to do. These votes should secure the natural rights and personal liberties of the American people. If they do not, we put the power back in the hands of the American people for our own constitutional overview. The jury. The jury of any courtroom has more power and authority than the President of the United States, his entire cabinet, and all of Congress put together. And the court of law is where the people decide what is American and what is un-American. I'd like to go ahead and take this time to publicly state that we're not against the police. We're not against police officers. But we are against those thugs. So what do we do about these haters? These gang-banging boys in blue? Well, I suggest you get one of these. A constitutional necktie. It's kind of hard to put a bullet through a constitution which you're sworn in an oath of office to uphold.